anyone lays a finger on my son and they're out of here. Is that clear? I asked you a question. I heard you, Henry. It's clear. Just keep your kid away from me. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't change anything for you. I need you to hear me say it anyway. I can't fix the mistakes I've made. But I want you to know that if you ever feel like moving past them, I'm ready and waiting. just gonna take a little time. I understand. Hey, you are. One, sit. I'm proud of you, you know. Dad, you don't have to. No. trying to say is, somehow, you managed to become everything I'm not, everything I wasn't able to be, and I'm so glad, I'm so proud of you for that. bringing in an adult patient from a motor vehicle crash. Dr. Bill, yeah. we just got a call from Air 2. They're inbound with the second patient. Same car accident. He's six years old. He was going clear by the impact. What else did they say? Well, he's unconscious. You better prep for a possible trait. Right away. Hi. Talk to me. We found a couple hundred feet from the car. Pupils are non-reactive. Looks like he has a depressed skull fracture. Let's get him on the bed. Ready? Dr. Bill, what should I tell him on? I'll talk to her as soon as I can get an airway. Dylan is one of the most crit. Give me the smallest one we've got. We were able to intubate him by placing a endotracheal tube into his airway. Mrs. Smith? How's Dylan? Once we get the tests back, but we're doing everything we can. He's gonna be okay, right? We don't have the resources here to take care of him. We're gonna transfer him to Children's Hospital just as soon as we can. Doctor? Oh, good. Uh, Mrs. Smith, this is Dr. Francis. He's a neurosurgeon. He's going to take a look at you, okay? Dr. Bill, CT's ready. All right, let's take him there. Lauren, do you want to call the hospital and arrange for a transfer? Lori, you want to come with me? I'll explain in. everything in a moment. Doesn't look good. Can you email these to Children's? Yeah, sure, no problem. Dr. Francis, the CAT scans are in. Dr. Kevin Veal escorts six-year-old Dylan Smith to the hospital's helicopter. Dylan's only chance of survival is to be airlifted to Children's Hospital. You are one skinny son of a bitch. You eat meat? I don't know. <laughs> Soldiers! Sir! Sir! What is your name, soldier? Peter Apple, sir! Bullshit! Horseshit! Fucking pig spit, soldier, and fucking, fucking hay and mud and shit and uh, horse shit. And uh, your name is Scum, you stupid son of a bitch, you hear me? Sir, yes, sir. What is your name, soldier? Scum, sir. Bullshit. You have a name, soldier. Your name is Peter Apple. You're fucking scum. Scum, you hear me? Are you two holding up? I'm okay. Your mother's asleep. 
bad can it be? Can I get you guys anything? Oh, no, wait a second. We never get a chance to talk. You're always so busy island hopping and <laughs> trying to save the planet. I'm afraid that you forget about yourself. Dad, I love my job. You know that. I know. But I think you need to get a life of your own. I had a life, remember? But every day you and Mother lectured me that this guy isn't good enough for you. That he's not of high enough social status. I know. Maybe we were wrong. I just want you to be happy. I was happy, remember?